Hello and welcome to layout update number two. Now I'm afraid down to some technical difficulties. Uh, a lot has happened because uh, my phone was broken down, which is what I used to film with, so I wasn't able to uh, film. But godly, it's been fixed, so we can get on to it. So the first video will be now if my phone is fixed, is this layout update, which is number two. Number three will hopefully come tomorrow, but saying that this might not come until tomorrow either, so. Anyway, so let's start from left to right. Now there's not much to show you on the right, but there is on the left as you can see. But before we do that, scenery. I'm just going to show you what I use for scenery. Okay, so we've got some coarse turf, this is medium green, some burnt grass, uh, green blend grass. I'll get the proper name for it. Uh, it's green blend blended turf. And then we've got medium ballast. There we go. So that's what I've used for the scenery. Uh, so let's get started. As you can see, I have made a hill in this corner. It's not that tall. This is a foot high, so you can sort of get it's about half a foot tall at the highest point. Um, as you can see, come down. It's all nice. Um, obviously, I got newspaper, made a pillow shape piled them on top of each other, got the, and then I got um, plastic cloth, put that on top, then I painted it with um, brown paint, and then put the grass on top. Now, I haven't done the edging, one because I have to balance before I do the edging, like the grass, and because I wanted to do some at this side, and as you can see, I have added a, um, well, a, a rock face. This is a kit I bought today. Well, I made today, should I say. And as you can see, it, it looks pretty nice in that corner. I, I, I think it'll look really nice once I have grass coming around. Now, unfortunately, because the rock was really big, I've had to cut it down to my favourite bit, and I found this bit. Unfortunately, while cutting it, it's actually, if we look, as you can see, it's much more obvious on this camera. There is a gap because I unfortunately it snapped in half. So I'm hoping to fill that in with some hedging coming down. Or maybe even a bit of grass if I can get it in there. But we'll see. So the next step I'll be doing tonight will be ballasting. So I can continue with scenery. As you can see, I've drew a line down this because this is where I'm gonna go up to with the scenery and ballast. All that's gonna be left how it is. Okay, moving on, as you can as I said I've got everything planned. There's going to be a station here, a freight station, although I haven't found a building yet, so I can't do much with this side until I do find something to put there. I do want something to put there. I don't want it just to be blank. Although I could put, um, I could put, if there's a station building, I could put a station building there and then pretend that this used to be a preserved railway, but in, it's expanded in a different direction and this has been used as a freight yard. Anyway, so as you can see, I have a platform here that I've started to make. This is two pieces of this wood that I've used for the board on top of each other. And this is slightly lower, only slightly lower than it needs to be, but you can hardly notice. It's roughly about right, I'd say, actually. And it looks pretty nice on the edge, so put that to one side. Uh, big change, obviously. The, I have painted the background blue. Uh, I've used really cheap blue. I have our paint. I haven't gone for anything really expensive. In fact, I use this paint, which is a ready mixed paint. This is recycled actually from Bananas, but I do have a brand new pot. I'll just get that so it's a bit easier to read. Uh, I got this from Range. This cost me one pound. Uh, the bottle I used was only about three quarts full. I haven't even used it yet, but I've got managed to do this full board, which is pretty nice. Uh, if we just go on there, there you can see, ready mixed paint, I don't think it's got the colour of it, 
but it, it's just blue paint. And that cost me one pound, and that could, it's a really nice colour. Um, it's, yeah, it's about the colour it's coming up as cameras, it's really nice. Unfortunately, while laying plastic cloth, I have got a bit of paint onto um, the point. Um, not much has changed, a bit more plans on the fiddle yard. I'm thinking of having, like I said, a curve there. And then I might cut a curve out on that so I can get into it so it's easy to put trains on. And so I can get to this point from just putting my hand through this hole and changing it. So then there'll be a nice big gap, like where the curve is here, where I can store locos. And obviously again, there's going to be a sheet along there, well, a piece of wood along there, which will be painted. I will paint that black, I believe. I think this is going to be black along the bo the bottom. And then I may actually repaint the edge in black. And of course the, the uh, field yard wall will be black as well. Um, I don't think there's much else. Uh, so I'll just talk about this ballast again because there's a bit I want to talk about. I've chosen this colour, although you can't really see it. You can just see it there. It's a mixture of um, light and dark grey. The reason I chose this instead of just going for dark grey is so it's easier to weather because I will be weathering this ballast on this track. I'm going to watch one of Everard Junction's videos on how to um, weather uh, ballast or track and watch what he uses. I'm going to buy what he uses or the paint that he uses and I'm going to weather it up with my airbrush. That's really going to be really take some time. Uh, so I think that's it for this update. So until next time, please comment and subscribe.